Rebecca, Rebecca, Rebecca. Yes, dear. What have you done to this skirt steak? I have marinated it in this beautiful mojo criollo. It's marinated for beef, chicken, and pork. And it's basically, it's a mixture of a bunch of different citrus juices and some oil and I don't see salt. Well, salt is way down on the list. So this is orange Stuff juice, grapefruit delicious. juice, vinegar, some dehydrated vegetables like garlic and onion and uh, probably some bell pepper. It's got a little bit of preservative, some xanthan gum to thicken it, and some bitter orange concentrate. Um, we bought this at Wow Market, which is our local Hispanic store, and it looks, it's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. All those chunky little bitty pieces floating around in there. And there's a lot of other brands that make this similar. Mojo. So, Mojo. So and it's, it's real delicious. Yep, and uh, they all have uh, citrus juice in them. And I'm a big fan of citrus juice on my um, Mexican type foods. And so, I marinated it in here, and the citrus helps tenderize because of the acid. And this morning I added about two tablespoons of soy sauce because that's my preference. I wanted to get some more salt, sodium in there. And I had trimmed this meat up pretty good. I left enough fat on there to impart flavor. And it's a real thin one, so we are going to sous vide this. Sous vide. And then finish it off to get a little bit of char in a hot skillet or maybe broil it in the oven. That's not determined yet. And, um... You can cook these to your liking uh, in, a, in a sous vide. Rebecca to the, has to the done this. Done this. Rebecca, want. like again, y'all know this. She likes it done. So it'll at least be 165 uh, or a little higher. 165 will be fine because by the time I uh, we grill it off, get the um, get a good crust on there. It'll be done. It'll be done. It'll be done. So. So I'm not vacuum sealing this this time like I normally would for my sous vide. And those of you who want a sous vide but don't want to mess with the vacuum process, it's excellent. Uh, just use a Ziploc bag. When you put it in that water, it's going to force any air that's in the bag up. And if you have a little crack in there, it's going to force it up and out. And I'm just going to clip this to the side of my pot so that if it does come open, I don't get a bunch of water in this meat. So let's move over to the pot. And I put the bag down in here, and I pretty much got the uh, the air out of here. And I'm going to have to add some more water just to keep this covered. I'm clipping the bag with some binder clips. You know you can steal them from work, right, y'all? Um, although somebody gave me a whole bunch of them, I also have some. Clips. And I'm going to dump the water balls, and this helps keep the water insulated. So that I done the uh, program on here and I'm going to set the temperature that I want it to go to. And you can do these by temperature or by time uh, and you know both. You can set it for like 165 and I'm not going to cook these till tomorrow say. We're cooking them today but if I was going to hold it until tomorrow or even three days from now I can set a timer on this and it's not going to go over that temperature so it's not going to overcook. You, you've heard me talk about this. Go ahead and take this out and we're going to dry it off. The marinade has done its part. Now all we're going to do is um, sear this off in a cast iron skillet. And, and we're going to, what she's going to make hers however, I'm going to have mine on a uh, chipotle corn like a tostada. tostada it's um it's only like seven carbs something like that i can have one one of those okay now this doesn't look very appetizing right now but yeah, we're just going to keep this meal simple and um our side dish is just going to be some steamed cabbage chef john cut up uh probably a half a head of cabbage and just cut it into small pieces you know, about like this, and um, put them in my bamboo steamer, and I'm going to steam it over some salted water. Now, I don't know if the salt is going to do anything in steam, but probably not. But they taste delicious. Oh my god, it's so good. It, it comes out kind of on the sweet side, and that should complement. Uh, we just cheated also, keeping it simple. Opened a can of uh, mild green chili sauce with a can of Rotel tomatoes. And that's going to be our salsa. Of course, those Rotel have the habaneros in them. So 
So Chef John's going to come and slice up that meat. I'm going to get this on the stove. And I also have some uncooked corn tortillas. And uh, I'm going to heat them up on the stove and kind of cook them. And I'll let you know how I like them. I bought these at Walmart. And John is going to have his on these. They're tostadas de maize. Ma and they're sabor chipotle. There are eight grams of cough per one. Chipotle. So I can actually have two of those. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sear this off. I'm getting a hot pan. I'm just gonna just drizzle a little bit of grape seed oil in there just a little bit. And I'm gonna get something to press it. Press it down with something so it has good contact all over it. Got this on the uh, Temperature setting, 430 degrees. And I'm not squeezing enough to get all the juice of that. I'm just squeezing enough to get good surface contact. We'll go ahead and turn it over. Look at that. Beautiful. I got all kinds of stuff that I don't use here, so I'm gonna cut it in half. Oh, that was tender. And we want to cut it against the grain. The grains are running this way, so you want to also do this at a 45 degree angle. It's just falling apart. Look at that! Look at all the juice coming out. Very juicy. Guys, this smells delicious, gals. Okay, I'm gonna get all this sliced up. We'll be back and we'll make our whatever we're making for each other. from the citrus. Oh, it's got an orangey tang, not a sweet orange. Mm -mm. It's a, you know, kind of like a, a sharpness like a back, lime would have. Back in a little garlic. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's really good. I got me some spring onions. I've got my corn tortillas. These cooked mm. up really nicely. And I'm just going to roll mine up in there and just have a taco. I put some cabbage on it. Cotija cheddar. I got cotija cheddar. A little bit of salsa we made, some sour cream, and of course the steak. This is so good. Mm. 
chipotle corn shell. Mm, wow. This almost satisfies my taco craving. And our steamed cabbage. Mm. It's good. Perfect. The cabbage is still crisp, but cooked. You know us, we like our vegetables to have a little texture to them instead of being all soggy. Mm. And then it's sweet. My spring onion pepper. That's our dinner tonight. <clears throat> now, this was really easy in the sous vide. If you don't have a sous vide, um, maybe use the crock, crock pot. pot. And you can cook it in the crock pot without, without sous vide in it. You can slow cook it in there. Right. Take it off at the end and, and re-sear it up. Mm -hmm. So, plenty of options there. And then top it however you like. If you, you got an Instant Pot, you can cook it in that. You could have it on rice instead of as a taco. However you want to have it. Because it's yours. Yep. But do the meat like ours. Yeah, that meat, man. You got to get that um, taste really mojo good. sauce. Wow, it's good. Show you again. Show you one more time. I'll leave a link to where you can find um, some of this. It is delicious on anything, chicken, beef, pork, fish, fish, veal, whatever. Uh, sheep. Sheep, venison. Moose. Yeah. Everything. Buffalo. Escargos. Whatever. Rabbits. Squirrels. Okay, time out. All right. Okay. All right. We're going to thank everybody. Please hit that thumbs up. And most important, y'all come back. Come back and see us. Come see us. We're going to go over there to eat. And... If there's a subscriber, I've had some subscribers said they wish they were they wanted to come. You, I got some left. I got plenty of shelves over here for this.